We are continuing our wonderful Portland adventure here at Teardown. This is Crowd Supply's event for hackers and makers of wonderful things. And I am joined by Chloe, who has a box of wonderful things. Uh, Chloe is the maker of the Flip C3, an ESP32 development board with a wide variety of power input options and the Power Tool 500, which pairs with it wonderfully. Uh, Chloe, would you like to give us a rundown of what these things are and what the motivation behind them were? Yeah, totally. Um, so I live in a bus in Oakland with about 1,500 watts of power, and I installed I installed Home Assistant uh, during the pandemic and I really wanted to get into home automation, uh, but there's not a lot of IoT devices for uh, DC systems. So. Um, deploying like a ESP32 or something on 24 volt system just doesn't work and you always end up with really bad buck converters so I made the flip C3 which uh, fits like the whole range of 12 to 48 volt your most common battery voltages so it has a 60 volt tolerant DC buck converter which provides 5 volts at 2 amps for whatever you want it's like a hundred LEDs it's a bunch of sensors anything and it was meant as like um, a modular main board for a whole bunch of uh, sensor devices, including the Power Tool 500, which we just pre launched on Crowd Supply. And it's meant to monitor your whole system power coming in and out up to 500 amps. That's peak, but 300 continuous. 300 amps is still an insane amount of power, especially at 48 volts. Uh, but the options on the market already are always always so proprietary and stuff. At best, you get a UART connection, but with this, you have direct access to the I squared C devices, the ADC, uh, the averaging options, the. Uh, you just have access. You have full access to the to the the IC device, and then that actually allows you to daisy chain boards together as well, along with some of my other products that I'm working pro, uh, prototypes that I'm working on for future after the power tool, based on the Flip C3. So, uh, in this in this demo, I have one that's just kind of reading all of the power coming in and out of this battery system. This was running while I was on Amtrak all the way up here from the Bay Area, and it shows all your uh, information on the display in Home Assistant, so you can actually access this wherever you are if you have a network connection. I can even access my bus back in Oakland from here right now. And you can even see right now it's charging, but if I pull the charger off, it'll, it'll show a negative value. And one of the main things about the power tool is that most power shunts, the power tool itself is a play on existing products already out there, but most of those products only work on the negative side of a system, or the cold side, which we call it in the solar uh, crew. Uh, but I've actually made a system where you can change the polarity of the whole system, so you can actually run it on hot side if in interjecting your ground path is just not going to work for you, you can also do it on, on the hot side as well. So a lot of features for people who want to use Home Assistant in an off-grid or battery-powered powered setup, um, but without some of the proprietary, fully open source, fully, you know, unlock bootloader, you can put Arduino code on, on here if you want to, but they do come preloaded with ESP Home, so right away, uh, it's going to have Bluetooth, it's going to show up in Home Assistant, it's going to be ready to be adopted and be ready to go. And then further from that, you can adopt it into ESP Home, and then you can just write whatever code you want. You have a full set of GPIO pins to work with, and you're ready to go. Fantastic. And, uh, and you already mentioned uh, a moment ago that the uh, the Power Tool 500 is in pre-launch on Crowd Supply, um, and that that is all that page is already up. I was looking at it a moment ago. We'll make sure the links to that are in the uh, video description and the blog and everywhere else we post things. Uh, you also mentioned that the Flip C3 is something that is available now. So if people wanted to get a hold of one, where would they find it? Uh, VDBX.io is my website. Uh, I sell them on Amazon, but that's taken. I just ran out of stock after a CNX post, so they're going back in stock right now. Uh, I have a Tindy page. And then you can actually buy them straight from my website as well. Excellent. So. And, and again, all, all links to all of those things will be uh, in the description of this video. And yeah, it's just so nice to see people taking things into their own hands uh, when it comes to knowing exactly what you want. And the beauty of this as well is it's fantastic for off-grid use, but there are many people I know will be very happy to have that variability, but also the uh, accessibility of being able to really control their power chain. It's just a really nice idea, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I know uh, just some examples, especially for like the Flip C3, uh, 
three uh, is is just like DC power in general. You just do a lot of power conversion. So like being able to just pick up whatever power supply and plug it into Flip C three and be ready to go. Uh, we even pre I even preload every Flip C three with ESP Home on it so that it just easily adoptable into ESP Home or Home Assistant, ready to go. You can have your buttons. You have your little onboard WLED, and uh, you can. Uh, speaking of WLED, you can actually load WLED on them directly from my website with a yeah. USB cable in Chrome. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I've seen people use them on um, last mile vehicles too, so electric bikes, one wheels, electric skateboards, you can put LEDs on whatever or have a sensor, do proximity sensing and stuff, is my skateboard at home or not, uh, that type of stuff. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic and it's got such a wide race, uh, range of uses. But yeah, these are, these are both things that I think will find a, a a lot of very happy homes but yeah as I previously mentioned you can find links to the crowd supply page and also the pur pur purchase page for the flip c3 and the power tool Chloe thank you so much for giving me your time today so cheers